There are so many overpowered strats in PoE 3.24 that are getting the spotlight only to get nerfed or lose their value or even get expensive to begin with. If you are tired of watching some of these most broken farming strats become inaccessible before you can even try it for yourself, here is something everyone can do for the rest of the league and yet still not lose its value. And that is the new Alva incursions. There are several aspects of making money from these incursions, apart from just selling them. Let me start off by revealing why this is so underrated in the first place. So previously, you required master mission points or charge compasses to force Alva to spawn in every single map. But now, with the reworked Atlas, you can force her to spawn in every map with no limit nor any investment. Not only is it a zero investment, but you also don't require any scarabs and all flame embers to run these maps. Which means you can never make a loss running this strat, and hence nobody has the power to inflate the investments to begin with. The Chronicles with Glocus of Corruption or Dorianis Institute will always have demand throughout the league as you can't double corrupt existing items with the Necropolis crafting. It's even more worth it as time goes by as there will always be a lot of crazy millionaires out there who want to make videos to showcase double corrupting their mage bloods and other valuable items. But what if everybody does this and lose its market price, hey? Well, you can still run them for yourself to double corrupt unique items that are commonly used in the current league. And most of the double corrupts can sell for several divines to a mirror depending on the price of the base item that you're corrupting. Especially body armors, since tainted currency is available, you don't even have to six-link them. I made a ton of currency in the previous leagues, double corrupting items like Diala's Malefaction. This league, items like Voltaxic Rift, Fourth Vow, Cloak of Tomre Isley, Indigon, Feral Spur, The Squire, and the Utula's Hunger are just a few to keep in mind. If you are broke or without a proper build, you can even run this farming strat on any tier 6 plus maps without any sort of alking or quantity rarity mods. On a plus note, they've added a new notable where you can get some extra currency and valuable scarabs from these cursed treasures at the expense of losing a couple of seconds in the incursions. I've even dropped a horned scarab of awakening from this. But I wouldn't take the Val Flesh Merchant unless you have a defensive build as this thing can one-shot you and is not even worth its inconsistent drops. And with all the Atlas nodes here, we can even self-sustain our maps without having to buy them off trade. I personally suggest shorter maps where you have to run in a straight line instead of the ones with an open field area. These include maps like Silo, Tower, Toxic Sewers, Primordial Pool, Tropical Islands, Jungle Valley, and many more. Another great quality of life advantage is that you don't have to spend too much time on trade site to price check and sell them. Whereas for any other strat, you have to go through data after data and spend a lot of time to buy the scarabs and the all-flame embers. Now the downsides. This requires 4 incursions in 4 maps to form a full chronicle, so you have to quickly get in and quickly get out if your aim is to make more profit out of it with divines per hour, which means your build should be fast enough with good clear speed and defense, at least for yellow maps. You can spam as many maps as you want but you have to carefully check the layouts every time you enter an incursion, and sometimes you can get unlucky when Alva doesn't do the double upgrade to Locus of Corruption, but if you do get unlucky in this case, you can use an incursion scarab of timelines in your last 4 incursions to get a duplicated chronicle with everything the same except the tiers of the rooms will be random numbers. This only applies to one duplication per map. So this is even more better if you have both the gem and item corruption rooms revealed and accessible. Now the highest priority is for Locus of Corruption which is the third upgrade of these two rooms. The second one being the Dorianis Institute which is double corruption for gems. This is where you can get the level 21 corrupted gems with 23% quality in the best case scenarios. It would be good if you have access to the apex of Azawattle because some of the boss drops are quite valuable. This includes Ambition which is a piece of the adorned jewel. Here is a full list of the boss drops. The wilds are used to upgrade certain temple specific uniques to their higher tiers like Coward's Legacy from Coward's Chains. So this is where the apex of Ascension Room plays its role. And I'm pretty sure a lot of players didn't know about this one. And finally, Wealth of the Val is quite nice of an extra spice. It's worth a few chaos extra, but you don't want to overprice these chronicles even if you get all of them. Most people buy these chronicles for a specific goal, so you want to keep the best ones for yourself to run them. Now, I have to mention this part because of this guy who tried to scam me. So these people will modify the ping request with slight variations in price digits. There are several people, mostly RM tiers, who want to price fix certain items in absurd low values. So then they can basically hoard them from you guys at low prices and then sell them at bulk later in the league. So watch out for the modified trade requests that are not highlighted by the GGG's chat system. 
So coming back to this, if you have plenty of points to add another farming strat, the following ones are synergistic to this. None of these require quantity, rarity or pack size. Personally, I prefer essences cause they have the same rewards from tier 6 plus maps. I tried bestiary but it wasn't worth the prizes. Syndicate farming is in a bad shape at the moment. Harbingers require scarabs to make profit out of them. If you are interested in it, you should watch this video which has everything you need to know about it. Ultimatum is quite fine if you're running in high tier maps with a strong and fast build. So for Atlas Tree, just pop in all the notes for them along with the notes I have put for the incursions. So if you're new to the strat, it's quite easy to figure it out. Every time you enter an incursion, you can press V to show the layout of the incursions. This is very important as there are two things you need to check. The first being the two architects present in the area. If you see the name of the room, say Catalyst of Corruption, written in the south side of the layout, you should kill the architect at the south side of the area. The other important thing is to check the red and green dots which are basically closed and open doors. When you get a stone after killing a monster, make sure to open a door in a side which has no access. If both north and south are accessible, you can open the east or the west side. And if you get into trouble without access to a valuable area, you can try to get the explosives room which has the dynamite that can blow up blocked walls. So it's as easy as that. I could have written a long script to explain this video, but instead I've squished in all the points in every single minute of the video so that you as my dear viewer can spend less time watching videos and more time playing the league. This is the style of my videos. So if you enjoy these short form compressed guides, make sure to subscribe and check out my other strats from 3.24. And thank you for watching. Ensuring our descendants have the means.